In the American West, a mega drought that threatens human health, agriculture, and entire ways of life is occurring at the driest point in human history. The severe effects of the drought on the hardest hit states are explored in the anthology of short stories Dried Up, as well as the solutions that Americans are implementing. The most glaring manifestations of the Southwest's worst drought since the year 800 are the two artificial Colorado River lakes, Lake Powell and Lake Mead, whose dwindling levels threaten vital water and electrical supplies for tens of millions of people. The lakes and the surrounding surroundings are approaching the point at which environmental harm has been done. How is the drying up of Lake Mead a global issue? How does it affect you and your daily lifestyle? In today's video, I'll tell you what Colorado has just revealed about the drying up of Lake Mead. Stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Data from the National Park Service show that the net water loss in Lake Mead alone amounts to more than 6 trillion gallons. Because Lake Mead is getting smaller, Hoover Dam is already producing less electricity. The reservoir is expected to drop to about 150 feet above dead pool status, or the point at which the levels are too low to allow for downstream flow, endangering both power and drinking water. The moment of truth is here for everyone, said Christopher Kustis, a senior water program manager with the Environmental Defense Fund. The issues, he added, are an unmistakable signal that people, we need to fundamentally change how we manage and use water. Due to a century-old agreement among seven states that allocates more water than the river actually has because it was based on data from one of the wettest decades in American history, the Colorado River Basin is in a unique position when it comes to drought. According to the Interstate Consumption Compact, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, and potentially California will all see automatic water cuts on January 1st if water levels do not rise by the end of the year. The seven states specifically agreed to give up their water rights from Lake Powell in April so that the reservoir could continue to generate electricity. Approximately 162 billion gallons will be transferred from the Flaming Gorge Reservoir to Lake Powell by the federal government. Additionally, the federal government will decide the cuts if the state's party to the Colorado River Compact are unable to reach an agreement by Monday on a plan to cut water use by 2 million to 4 million acre-feet. According to Custis, because most of the water policy in the U.S., particularly in the West, was created decades ago, when values and priorities were different, a future reckoning was unavoidable. We were always heading in this direction, but the effects of climate change are manifesting themselves perhaps 20 or 30 years sooner than they otherwise would have. Lake Mead is now a mere shell of what it once was, with its water level reaching a new record low of 1,068 feet above sea level. This lowers the previous record low established in 2016 of 1,071 feet. Lake Mead's water level peaked in 1983 when it was 1,225 feet above sea level. The most recent time it came close to that elevation was in 2000, when it rose 1,214 feet. Why is this significant to the country then? The nation and the world may be viewing Lake Mead as the canary in a coal mine. One could contend that the rising temperatures, greater evaporation, and growing demand for human consumption are to blame for the rapid decline in Lake Mead's water level. Water shortages across the western United States could make Lake Mead the epicenter of a major climatic crisis. Why is this taking place? The explanation for Lake Mead's reduced water level is complicated. The absence of rain is the first. An extreme drought that has affected the western United States for some time now may last all summer. Water restrictions have already started to affect agriculture in the area due to the demand for water supply in the area. The National Integrated Drought Information System of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, an estimated 81 million as are experiencing the impacts of this year's drought. Each year, Lake Mead loses six feet of water due to evaporation alone. Although it might not seem like much, six feet of water loss is equivalent to 300 billion gallons of water used for hydropower in human use. As a common natural danger, droughts exist. 
One could counter that the accumulation of exceptionally dry years this century has made recent droughts worse. The growing demand for water puts an already precarious supply under even more strain. Western towns like Phoenix and Las Vegas continue to see population growth. We require more water as a result of growing populations for everyday necessities, agriculture, and other uses. Now that we have come to the end of today's video, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this crisis situation. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like this video and share it with your family and friends. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out on any new update. Thanks for watching.